While the test positivity rate is higher in Chesapeake than Virginia Beach, but that public schools division says it has no plans to take students out of the classroom. Eugene Daniel talked to parents and teachers who want to know how the district is making its decisions. Certainly I'm a little bit jealous, but I'm also incredibly concerned. Chesapeake Public Schools parent Samantha Lester wants to know why students remain in the classroom when COVID-19 cases are rising. Virginia Beach is back to virtual learning only because of the area's growing test positivity rate, but at 11.5%, Chesapeake's rate is higher. A Chesapeake Public School spokesperson says the district has no plans to change its instructional model at this time, but continues to work with state and local health departments to track the coronavirus in schools. The district's new COVID-19 dashboard that tracks the virus by individual schools shows there have been 89 positive tests reported in all over the last 14 days. We're thankful for the numbers that we have now, but we know that there are possibly more cases that we don't have record of. Reagan Davis, president of the teachers union, says there's no requirement by the system to be tested. We also do not know what would actually constitute a building closure versus a whole school system closure, or even if one of those would happen. Some classrooms at Crestwood and Truett Intermediate Schools switched to online learning and quarantined after each school reported an employee passing the virus to another employee. The dashboard lists them as schools with an outbreak, while schools like Butts Road Intermediate have more cases. The district says outbreaks are only counted when the source of the spread is determined to be in the school. But when asked what would determine if and when a school should switch to online learning, the spokesperson said no thresholds have been established. Each situation is evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis to determine if the school can operate both safely and efficiently. Tell us what your go, no-go criteria is so that we as a community can follow those metrics in the community as well or on the COVID dashboard and then realize and prepare, okay, we might be coming close to a shift. And that's what Virginia Beach is afforded. That spokesperson for Chesapeake Public Schools says that the district will provide an update to the community at its next scheduled board meeting, which will be next Monday, December 14th. In Chesapeake, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now.